Hello and welcome back to the Academic Society. It's Toy in here and I'm excited to share the preparation that I've been doing for my summer online class. So my class actually just started this past Friday and in preparation for the class, that's going to be asynchronous, meaning the students can devour and consume the information on their own time. We're not doing live teaching at all. I have been filming my lectures for my students to watch throughout the course. So I wanted to share in this video my setup and how I structured my videos and how I make sure that the videos are something that the students actually enjoy consuming. So if you're interested in that, keep watching this video. I'm Toyin, the founder of the Academic society. I got my PhD in math, landed my dream job as a lecturer at a university, and I also create these videos for academics and grad students. I mostly share time management and productivity tips, but I also share a bit of my academic lifestyle. So we're into the academia today. Let me tell you how I like to film my videos. Number one, I actually enjoy filming my lecture videos. I dread having to do it. So knowing that my filming day is coming up for um, filming lectures, I'm like, oh, I don't feel like doing it. But I know once I start filming, I get excited because it feels like teaching. And as someone who enjoys teaching, I really like sharing the lectures with my students and like filming them even though they're not there. I feel like I'm teaching, but just to no one. So number one is actually see if you can pump yourself up and be excited about the lecture because the more animated and excited you are in your videos, the more your students will pay attention and not you know, let their mind wander and be elsewhere. So you want them to really enjoy watching the videos a little bit. Number two, try to give them a feel of what it would be like to have you in the classroom with them. I actually like to ask open-ended questions even though it's a recorded lecture. I often talk to my students throughout the lecture. I ask them, pause the video and work through this problem or pause the video and think about it. If you're confused, take a moment go back and re-watch the explanation again. It's really helpful to let your students know that you know they're actually watching it. Number three, the video should be fairly short. You don't wanna take a 50 minute lecture and then just record it. That is not going to be helpful for your students. Even me, someone who loves learning and loves learning about my subject, if I had to watch a math lecture for 50 minutes, I would be bored to tears. My mind would wander and I would not get as much out of it. However, 10 minutes or less is a great amount of time for a video. I try to keep all of my lecture videos under 10 minutes, so I break up each section into about three parts, um, three 10 minute parts. So a total of 30 minutes for a lesson is ideal for my students. Also, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye. So those I would say are my big three tips. For me, my setup, I, since I'm a math person and we like to write things, it's very hard to type math. I'm not gonna spend time making slides and typing up all of the math. It would just take way too long and be a very inefficient use of my time, especially since I'm not that great at it. However, something I like to do is even when I'm teaching, I use a document camera. So as I'm teaching, I can stay facing my students. I don't like to turn my back to my students. I wanna see their face and their expression at every turn in the class. So I face them the whole time and I write on a document camera where my writing is projected to the screen. The nice thing about a document camera is there's no erasing. If you need to refer back to something early in the class, just bring the paper back. It's there, it saves so much time. And since I teach with the document camera, it was a no brainer for me to translate that to my online classes. So I just hook my document camera into my computer and I use QuickTime and do a movie recording and I film my writing on the document camera. And that is how I film my video lectures. I upload the videos to YouTube and then I embed those videos into our online learning system. Our school uses um, e-learning commons, which is a desire to learn, similar to Blackboard, Moodle, things like that, or Canvas. 
So I hope that this video is helpful for you. Um, I hope that you enjoyed these tips. I would love to know more tips. So if you have any online teaching tips or online filming uh, tips that you would like to share, please share them in the comments for anyone watching this video. If you're new here, consider subscribing 